What's good, y'all? It's your boy Z, man. Now, today, we are here to talk about this insane arc, man. Finally, Battle on Rakuyo. Don't, still don't even know if I'm pronouncing it right, but yeah, we're here to talk about it, man. Let's get into this, man. This arc was straight gas, man. Straight fire, straight heat, man. Y'all know, um, let me tell y'all. This arc is a 10. Gintama has had three. Count them. Three. Oh, wait, that's six. Three. Ten out of ten. Oh, bro. Pop, okay. I don't even know. Like, I would say SA, FS, and that, this this arc all were ten out of ten. Is like, wherever you want to rank them, that's up to you. But they're all ten out of tens. They're all great in their own right like amazing arts like uh just the writing choreography animation the fights this arc had a lot of fights in it too it, it was it was amazing man um but yeah that's that's a big thing that like will set this arc especially we got to talk about there's a lot of stuff we need to talk about but i'm not going to get to touch on everything like but I should have had notes, but I'm just going off straight off my head, man. So, first thing I'm talking about is Utsuro, Shoyo Sensei, whatever you want to call him. Oh my gosh, this guy. This guy is one of the greatest villains I've ever seen. Like, what? Bro, I'm still losing my mind over this man. Like, I'm just like, how? I, I, I thought, I was like, there's no way Sorachi, like, I didn't. Like, his writing is too good. I'm like, there's no way. Like, like the, the way he was setting it up, I'm like, bro, please don't make this shit ass. And then we get an explanation the exact, like, episode after, like, the next arc. And we the explanation was just, like, like mind-blowing. Like, what the fuck? Like, figuring out his backstory and everything and, like, the true entity and then overall changing them. And overall is another... Thing we gotta talk about man <clears throat> so holy shit bro like i'm going back and re-watching this shit i just realized i didn't fucking talk about obro and nothing. that's like bro so much shit that happened in this art that like i forget man. i should have took notes but god damn y'all were gonna flame me in the comments but fuck it bro obro bro that man like at first I didn't understand this character because at first I was just like, damn, this man's annoying. Like, why wouldn't he just die? Like, who is this guy? And, but now understanding everything that happened, how he's connected to Shoyo, and like, bro, he he's a tragic character. Like, Takasuki took him out too. Like, he's a tragic character. Like, basically, he was like the, basically the first disciple, man, of Shoyo. Like, he created Shoyo, basically. Like, Obro was... A complex character man and like it was kind of sad to see him like actually go out like and getting him like his story on everything was crazy um I, I there's probably more shit I need to talk about but that I definitely need to talk about that so yeah uh, back to the video <laughs> it was just amazing like Utsuro is amazing Getting to see him fight against Umi too, I wanted to see, like, get Tom, like, I think, like, a criticism, um, I know we're here to talk about Gintama, but, like, a criticism I have with, like, uh, One Piece, like, cause, One Piece, you know, that was my favorite, uh, anime, but criticism is, like, Oda doesn't really, like, explain stuff, and he doesn't really show, like, everything, like, at first, like, you gotta wait, like, a fucking 100 chapters just to get an explanation. Like, sometimes it's good, but, like, like, you want the sh you wanna see the shit, man. You wanna see the shit, man. And then, like, you got top tiers fighting and shit. Like, it's just amazing to see. Like, you want the, and he shows the shit, and then he, ex the execution is just on point. Like, nothing but greatness. Like, no, I can't say nothing, nothing bad. Like, that's the thing. Like, I literally can't say nothing bad. Like, I don't got nothing bad to say about it. Um, let's talk about these fights, man. Cause I already know I'm the, I'm straight meathead, man. I, I live for the fights, man. I like I like the plot too. I, I love the story and everything, but uh, I like I love them fights, man. That's what I like to see. That's what I'm here for. Um, so when they was fighting the those uh, the Harsame or whatever, the captains, y'all already know y'all know what I'm talking about, but. When they was fighting those captains, it was Kato, uh, 
versus that that monkey dude and fucking bro that fight was tough bro i'm zuda that, that, that moment that that shows bro that that shit i wanted katsura to get his fucking like a clean 1v1 like he, he fought against saito like that was cool too but uh getting to see console like like truly just like go all out for his people and every day like i was just like yes fuck him up zura and then like the joke of like is not is not uh fucking zura it's console like the joke became like real getting to see console's backstory was fucking fire bro like i i love that shit um uh fucking sakamoto bro oh bro uh -huh, uh -huh, bro <laughs> That's my boy, bro. That man is funny as hell, man. I, I love his character. Uh, his fight was interesting, too. Like, he actually held it down. Like, his fight was really important. Like, the the captain he fought was, like, some fucking cyber tech dude, man. If he didn't stop him, like, that dude would have caused a lot of trouble. So, Sakamoto was a real GOAT. And getting to see, like, why he uses a, a pistol and stuff and, like, yeah, like Sakamoto had a clean fight too. I, I I enjoyed like his like tactics and stuff like that. So yeah, Sakamoto was clean. Um, but it, it was a lot of stuff in this arc, man. Like I don't I don't remember everything because it's been a while since I seen it. But like I'm just going based on top of my head. So I'm sorry about not talking about your favorite part and everything. But yeah, there, there's no like. Everything I watched was greatness, pure greatness. Uh, Gintoki's fight with the one-eyed dude. When y'all explained that shit to me, um, now I want to go back and rewatch it because um, at first I was kind of confused because Gintoki it looked like Gintoki was doing shadow clones. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? I was like, this ain't no Naruto bullshit. What the fuck? I was confused as fuck. But then y'all explained it to me in the comments. And like, y'all said like, he was basically using... Um, his um fucking what is this shit called fucking um killing intent yeah yeah like to because the dude look like, i thought the dude could see what is eye the weird fucking eye but he couldn't see like he was just fucking like oh that's racist chill out nah but he couldn't see um he only could sense stuff with his like third eye and so gintoki was like using a whole bunch of like killing intent and like it made it seem like his presence was all over that's why we saw the shadow clones and shit and i'm like oh see now that i get the fight i'm like damn that was tough as fuck but like the way gintoki ended that man too was tough and then like the whole pakuyasa and whatever that shit was hilarious i'm not gonna the com bro i swear the comedy makes fucking like the fights just so much like better like uh, when fucking Takasuki finally rejoined, oh my god, Takasuki, bro, that shit was hype, bro, when they finally all get back together, the four, oh my god, so much shit happened in this arc, bro, I'm just remembering, I'm like, god damn, this shit all happened in this arc, like, bro, 10 out of 10, greatness, but yeah, when they all got together, man, and fucking, uh, they was clowning on Sakamoto, they was too, too spitting on him, I was like, yo, what is this arc, bro, like, Takasuki, <laughs> like, I didn't know Takasuki was part of their, like, dumbass shit, bro. Like, that shit was hilarious. Like, getting to see more of his personality and more of his character and everything was just, like, crazy good, man. I was just like, yo, I'm just blown back. Like, this this anime, man, this, this series is amazing. Um, freaking... Kagura and Shinpachi, man, doing their thing. Kamui, bro, going crazy, bro. Fuck yeah. Bro, that fight, Gintoki, man. Uh, basically, you know, Kagura's uh, um, earth brother and fucking her blood brother uh, versus each other, man. That shit was great. Like, that shit went hard, man. Like, I'm like, damn, this man Gintoki. He was going crazy, man. Like, everybody was going crazy. I was just like, what the fuck? I'm just blown back. Like, it's hard for me to even gather the right words to say because that shit just blew me back, man. Like, I, for real, wasn't, like, it was so emotional. Things, bro, like, literally getting told you, like, that's, like, my favorite character of all time. Now, like, that's my GOAT, man. Like, the, the, the speech he had, man, the, the comments he said, man, I'm just like, yo... And, like, he's so relatable as a character. Like, in Toki, like, that, that's my favorite character, man. That, that man's the go. Like, I, I truly understand now, like, why y'all stand against him, why y'all stand, like, these characters, that they're amazing, man. Um, 
Yeah, Umi, bro. Umi's flashback. The the whole Yato clan, the whole Yato, um, their whole development, like their whole flashback and everything, like that shit was uh, really well done. Like it was already like foreshadowed and set up like way back, and then like now we're like finally getting uh like the truth of everything. And man, that shit was like. That shit was just amazing execution. Like Umi is one of my favorite characters now too. Like he, he's a bro. He's a really good character. Like he's really well written. Uh, his flashback was amazing. Getting to see everything. Thank you guys for all the explanations on everything. Um, yeah. Um, what else can we talk about? There was a lot in this arc. I don't even know at this point. I don't want to make this video too long. Um, I want to just get back into the the groove of everything. I've been missing you guys. Want to get back into this last arcs? Uh, is it Silver Soul or whatever this arc? Next arc, the last arc, man. Let's we gonna get into it, man. Reactions are coming back, so stay tuned. Hit that bell, like the video, man. Let me know what y'all favorite part of this arc was. Like, well, let me know y'all favorite fight, man. I ain't gonna lie, my favorite like. I got it. I love I love the Katsura fight. Like that that fight was too hard, man. Y'all let me know what y'all thought though. Uh let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Talk in the comments, man. I've been your boy Z. Hope y'all guys have a great day. Short little video, but no, but we out. We back. We out this match. <laughs>